I'm Ryan. And I'm Austin. And I'm Donald. And we're watching, for some reason, Snow And Dog. you're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> and we're on her in Domino's. So he is like the most famous dentist in the world. Because his hot smile. I'm, I, I'm getting Zohan vibes with this movie. Like, I have a weird right? feeling he's going to be like a dentist that also fucks old women. I can't remember why he goes to the Arctic. With these snow dogs, like, I don't either. Of course, like, they put him in this a, tropical climate. There's a climate, strong right? emphasis yeah. on his his climate is warm yeah. and tropical, and, and he's living life and enjoying and, it now. And so the last so place on goes the wrong. last place he wants to be on Earth is with a bunch of snow dogs in some snowy Wait, area. How does he get? I think he, he's right, going to be he inherit something. It's been I, so long. I, I, yeah, I haven't. Like, I probably let me haven't check seen this movie out. since it came out. Honestly. So if you were a a rich and it seems kind of famous dentist that lived on some beautiful beach i kind of missed the location let's just call it miami yeah and you and you inherited a home in alaska would you give a shit about it first thing i'd do keep the uniform i have on and go to the beach to have a conversation <laughs> then i would let my friend talk me into doing that let's go, go on there. the beach and our dentist <laughs> And our dentist, we like, need to attire. have an epiphany right now. Yeah, this is like a, this is some this deep is thinking. Like, next, I'm gonna be a scuba diver. Yeah, <laughs> scuba gooding junior. This is. <laughs> but you can. Oh, 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 no. oh, that's a little baby scuba boy. <laughs> no, I was just thank God that was not. <laughs> Why was he baby size but out of full man schlong? <laughs> That was his head, bro. Oh, I thought that was his dick. <laughs> would you trust a man with one eye to fly a plane? No, I would. I would barely trust his a man with two eyes. His depth perception is shot. Yeah, he is, you don't have depth perception. Oh shit! Look at him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Whoa. Point proven. Just swerve to the Do right. Do not hire a cycloptic pilot. There's a move too. Take off or swerve. I don't know if cycloptic is a word, but I like it. So this was after Cuba Gooding Jr. won an Academy Award a few this years is after. Ago. Yeah, he already was an Academy Award winner. For what movie? Jerry Maguire. Oh, okay. I forgot he was in that. Not Melon. This is when they showed him the money. Man of To do ah, Snow Dog. Show me the money, Snow Dog. Show me the money. Do you think this movie killed his career for a while? This and Boat Trip. Are oh, you, yeah. Boat Trip killed his career. Could, we gotta watch I'm, that one. Guarantee he one did this punch. for his down, kids. Down. He was like, I'll do a kid that movie too. for him. That too. I yeah. pick a lot of actors, well, which also, is excusable. Also, so no, this, no, is, I get that, this is Disney. He got that Disney money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bill Murray's brother. Yeah. Bill wow. Murray's brother. He's old Murray. Older Murray. He could totally use some snow dogs right about now. Well, boy, do I hope it's just an empty house. <laughs> <laughs> with no, with no with animals in it. With not a pack of dogs in it. They're going to pull me around on this sled. <laughs> Boy, am I gonna be upset if there's a bunch, bunch of, of mangy mutts up in this place. Who let the dogs in? <laughs> she looks just like Cupid. Yep. It's probably his actual mom. And or they like just like dogs. photoshopped him onto a woman. <laughs> or, or they did casting for people yes. who looked like Cuba. They definitely that were women. They went through a thousand and took Cuba one photo. It's definitely <laughs> one of the first two. There's no <laughs> way they did that. There's no way. That's so unlikely. <laughs> oh fuck, there's a dog! Nobody said anything about Lucy having a dog. Oh boy, are you in for a fucking treat, bro. Oh, there's a snow dog in there. Why is he in there? There's a snow dog over there. There's a snow dog over there. Why? They, they like all like took position. They're like, alright, let's fuck him up. He's about to get jumped. But why were they all hiding? They don't like him, they're gonna jump. Do you think they want to kill him, or they just want to fuck up his jacket? Or they his want dick. his money. <laughs> you think they actually shot this in Alaska? Maybe. I'm gonna give a big fat no. Where did they film it? This is Canada. Yeah. Probably cheaper. This is British Columbia. Why am I getting hard, like, Dumb and Dumber vibes from this scene? Oh, man. Just go. That's straight up. Give him to Johnny Lightning. You Johnny mean Ryan. Thunder Jack? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good he joke. He was struck by thunder. That was a good joke. Johnny Lightning. Look at those baby Aww. blues. Aww. At least take that one. That one was super She's chill, adorable, bro. yeah. She's, she's, she's like, I don't belong here. Help me. Someone save me, please. I'll take your picture. I'll take a photo of you. Look how, look how pathetic you look. <laughs> that was fucked up. He's like a war photographer. For the scrapbook. What are they going to do? Go to Johnny Thunder? 
No, they just live there now. They just they pay the bills. It was they... Thunder Jack. <laughs> is he supposed to be charming or a dick? Both. He's a charming dick? Yeah, I think so. I he's... A charming is. dick? His name is James Johnson. His name is James John Jingleheimer Smith. He has a name. His name is my <laughs> name, too. Whenever I go are. out. The, the people, people always shout. shout. There's, There's a, a Cuba Gooding Jr. Da 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 da. Cuba <laughs> Gooding Jr. Cuba. What happened to you? He's dead. Cuba. You used to be a pretty decent actor. You and now you're Academy gonna go award. to jail. You're gonna probably go to jail. Oh. Just snapped his own neck. <laughs> he just dies. <laughs> Credits roll. <laughs> This movie's just like watch Cuba get mauled by dogs. <laughs> Pretty much. All right, so let's play the game. Guess how much this movie costs to make? Uh, let's go with hundred and thirty-five mil. I'm gonna go hundred. It costs thirty-five million dollars. Oh my god! <laughs> I said thirty-five. Dude, wow! It's two thousand two. Hey, this is a Disney production. I thought they had they had a little more faith. You thought Cuba every Disney movie hundred million dollars. I thought production. they had more faith in Cuba than that. They yeah, built this pitiful. city from scratch. They populated it. And guess how much this movie made in the box office? Uh, fifty-two. I want I want to say close to like eighty. Hundred and fifteen million. Okay. Dollars. Okay. Wow. So it was a success. Big hit. Yeah. Big hit. They must have had a good trailer. And Cuba was out of. Well, the they. Like Ryan was saying before, they did a lot of promotion on Disney Channel, so they probably like implant. I'm sure I was one of those kids. I was like, Yo, I gotta see this movie. Do you think they did a? I'm Cuba, and you're watching Disney Channel. Definitely not. But no. I, I want to hope that I want to <laughs> pretend they did. This movie had a twenty four percent Rotten Tomatoes. Well, Ryan, no one ever said it was good. When you edit this, I want you to put that sound of the wand right here, and I'm gonna go. No, nope, I'm, I'm Austin. You're watching Disney Channel. I'm not gonna do it. Then right there, you put that sound. I'm not gonna do it. Thanks, dude. Let's get done I know you will when you edit it, though. I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm the Crass. Oh boy, here we go. Sploot. Not as much splooting as I thought. Ew. Oh, he eats that. I hope that was Jello. Look, he's gonna brush mm -hmm. his teeth. Mm -hmm. Dude, Cuba definitely got a big payday. You definitely got like seven, eight million dollars. Yeah, for sure. Like that house of mine, Snow Dogs paid for it. Get that Snow Dog money. Still living off it now. He gets to an argument with his kids. Snow Dogs paid for this whole goddamn house. <laughs> Snow Dogs paid for everything. He watches it with his family like once a year, and they're like, "Do we have to watch it?" He's like, like, "This paid for this house. This paid for your college tuition. You like that fancy school you go to? Snow Dogs made that happen. Snow Dogs money." I wouldn't have been able to make American Gangster if not for Snow Dogs. <laughs> why is Cuba Gooding Jr. suddenly Samuel L. Jackson? That's a way to lose an arm. Yeah, why would you fucking do that? And it's your glove, so it can still come right off. That was a sinister look on that pop. Oh my god. This is how he dies. This is the scene where he gets his arm ripped off, This right? is how you learn. Like a rite of passage for an actor is to have a movie where he just gets like shit on for like yeah. an hour and a half. Yep. It's not like he was like an orphan. He was adopted. He had a good life. He was raised a dentist. He was raised a rich, successful dentist. This is like a side quest on a season of like a sitcom where Cuba Gooding Jr. runs the dentist's office. Mm. But instead of that show existing, we just have snow dogs. <laughs> Should have just been a character in the episode. You didn't need but to do this, Disney. It would have been like a, like season five of uh, Big Smile, whatever the fuck you'd call that sitcom. He'd find out that he was adopted and would have to go to Alaska, right, right. where he'd find the love of his life, who would then be on seasons five through nine. Yeah, and then yeah. they'd have kids. And they'd bring, probably James Coburn would come in as a reoccurring character. He lives in the house. You know, he comes in, he's like, I broke the toilet again. I'm from <laughs> Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Grizzly. Yo, this is the Revenant. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, just cut that scene in here. <laughs> Cuba Gooding Jr. is the Revenant right now. Can I help you all stay calm? 
I'm gonna win me an Oscar. Someone should cut the, this scene with just the up close bear of shredding in the other, and then back to this. <laughs> and back there and be like, hey, hey! <laughs> hey fucking great. All right, YouTube nation, get on it. Please. Smokey the bear. I fucking Yo, why can Cuba yeah. outrun a bear right now? Why this song? Who picked this? This feels like Crash Bandicoot or something. Yeah, oh my it god, it is. <laughs> I can, I'm being triggered right now, actually. <laughs> right? Like, he's, just, he's gonna hit the, a TNT, like... Yeah. And this is where he does the big jump, yeah. Yep. Get that crystal, Kuba. Oh my god. He would've broke both of his both legs. Both his fucking legs. And then Knee. died on this cliff. <laughs> oh. Those are some cool pups. I would have paid to be on set for this. Yeah. Shoot, this is so When they sick. were talking, yeah. <laughs> Jim Belushi. This is where I got the sunglass shot from. This is probably the part they showed in the trailer as a kid, and you're like, oh my god, it's gonna be a whole movie of talking dogs and shit. Yes. And it's literally just a five minute hallucination. Just one scene where Jim Belushi's just like, hey, 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 hey I'm a dog. I'm a talking dog. You on the watch beach. according to Jim. Hey. I made you the cookies. <laughs> Michael Bolton! No matter what color you are, you can still have soul. I mean, look at me. He's got those locks. Can I have one of those blue cheese cookies, Dude. please? Blue cheese cookies? Hell yeah, Michael Bolton. That kind of sounds awful. That's a furry bikini. Right? I've never seen anything like that. It's like a snow dog theme. Uh, looks so comfy. I would sleep in that cave any night. That looks like a great. That's time. a great cave. Look how fucking great that looks. They got whiskey and blankets everywhere. That's a great cave, dude. If I was Batman, that would be my bat cave. That's a dope cave. Yeah, that's the Cuba cave. <laughs> Sick shades, dude. <laughs> Yo, Blade Trinity. Oh man. Yo, Cuba like... clearly wanted to be Blade. He's like, if I didn't press you this whole time, now's my chance. Get the shades. Boom. Boom. Soaking wet. And Soaking he flies away. wet. That's it. She'll never stop thinking of those shades. That's a look. <laughs> That's a look. Yeah. Someone chose that for him. Yeah. And then said he looked good. <laughs> that's, that's Dude, he still and has lied right to his When he watches this with his family every year, like you said, he just goes, and we'll, we'll just fast forward through this part, guys. But wait, Dad, what, what is this part? It's not important. Uh, just, it's 2002. Dad, yeah. are you wearing those shades right now? No. It's CGI, kids. CGI. It was 2002. Uh, it was a weird time. Ted, those are the only shades Fashion you own. Fashion was at a low. Yeah. You have 15 pairs. Oh, I got a fun one for you, Andrew. The director of this movie directed Jingle All the Way. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, I guess I could sense the same tone. And Beethoven, the Flintstones movie. Definitely same story structure as all those. Like, he literally. And same are we there structure. yet? Oh, wow. He's the family comedy king. This movie definitely could have ended. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> this song is tough. So, everyone, as we do in most of our videos, <laughs> we talk about what we learned or what, what theme. What, what if, how do we feel about this movie? I feel like we saved everyone a watch once again. I don't think I learned anything. I, I didn't. I learned nothing. Besides that every actor has to do a movie like this to get into yeah. some some casino table in a back room. Dogs are cool in the snow, I guess?